Hi, it's Russ from Protoss Expert. There's a great track in the charts at the moment uh, by Passenger. It's called Let It Go. And it's got a r really lovely acoustic vibe to it. And there's a trick I want to show you that's actually on that record. If you listen to it, if you put a pair of cans on, you can hear it going on. Which is the trick where you split acoustic guitars by playing different parts of the acoustic guitar part and then panning them. So what I do, want to do first is show you it with the standard guitar playing. And I've just DI'd my acoustic and I haven't had time to put mics upon it. So it's a very it's a very basic sound on the acoustics. It's not really about the sound of the guitar, but the way we space them afterwards and how we play them. So this is more about arrangement more than sound. So let me first play you the uh, the riff from the centre of the song to give you an idea. So I've got some drums, a shaker and a bass guitar down and this guitar. Down. So let me show you how it goes at the moment. <laughs> It's not bad. Uh, I've just thrown that down. I'd probably take some more time and some care over it, mic up the guitar properly. But it's not so much as to say the sound of the playing. It's more to do with the way it's produced. And uh, a trick I do a lot of these days is that what we're going to do is we I then track it differently. I track two guitars. So I track that first. I track this guitar. And I'm going to just put it into the center. So I'm just marking the chords. They're down. They're downward strokes on the beat. This is two of R, which sounds slightly odd. But then you put the second one, and here's the second one. And that's coming off the beat, syncopating. Da, da, da. See on the waveforms if we go in there we can see that there's the first guitar playing there and there's the second one so beat beat so this is coming off the beat and then what you achieve then is this so if I put them both in now now this is where it gets interesting because then what we do then is we we start to push them out a bit and the further you go obviously the more extreme the effect but I, I don't want it to go too far but just enough to give it a bit of bit of interest so one's going about uh, just slightly left and one's going slightly right the strum up if you go too far it gets really extreme and doesn't sound that good but you pull them back into the center a bit more I'd play those more in time and actually mic up the guitar as well. We compare that to the original now. What's helping as well is that shake is taking it all along. So you don't need an acoustic, so your acoustic doesn't actually need to play that kind of tick it tick it tick because the shake is doing that. So we take that back out and bring these back in. So there we are, very quick, very easy trick. Two mono guitars, slight panning on them, uh, playing them in different styles. You can even capo as well. That's the other trick I do a lot of. I'll often play the same chords, but in a different capo position. Uh, so you can get like a high string sound and that gives you the same kind of effects. But there's a great trick for making nice big acoustic guitar parts within a track without getting too messy and too muddy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.